quick uh, unbiased, unpaid <laughs> review of uh, Warrior Martial Arts spring arm dummy. Uh, James over at Warrior Martial Arts sent me this uh, awesome spring arm dummy. And usually, or just the arm which I attached to my Makiwara here. And um, it's about 100 bucks with shipping, a little under 150 bucks, 140, something like that. Came within a week. And usually these things come on a 45 degree angle. And I told him I, I want to practice boxing with this. So if he can make like a slip stick for me, which he did. And uh, super high quality. Um, the screw holes were a little bit close to the screws that I had to screw in, but the workmanship and the wood and the quality, I mean, for a hundred bucks to get something like this, it's, it's incredible. And you can totally hook this up to, uh, to a wall and uh, much a much great alternative to a, a six or eight hundred dollar dummy or those four hundred dollar ones they sell on Amazon that everyone says cracks. Um, I just, you know, I don't really do traditional Wing Chun. I do kind of like boxing and, and Jeet Kune Do and mix. And, you know, for me, I need something more realistic to a real arm. If something is solid, I'm not going to sit there and, and fight with it. I'm probably going to try to get an angle and move around it. So spring arm just it, it actually really feels like a punch coming in and um you know there's just so much you can do with this thing from the tan sao to the bong sao that whole thing uh, laugh sao there's really a whole kind of like school of, of spring arm stuff which leads into weapons and so forth that comes from uh, wing chun and ji fudo that you don't really have in the in the stationary wing chun which is of course a wonderful tool and uh, I just got a little recoil one, which I'm about to hook up, which I can't wait um, to install. And of course, the traditional Mukjong is a wonderful thing. I'm not trying to throw that out at all. I'm just saying that, you know, all you really need in order to practice uh, a less traditional, um, more sideways, more, more Jeet Kune Do type, uh, faster, faster techniques uh, than, than the kind of like solid frame and, 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 and structure of Wing Chun that attribute that the Mukjong gives you. You know, if you're actually like looking to practice more practical punches and techniques, the, the length and the springiness on this is uh, for a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. The quality of the workmanship seemed really good. And uh, I'm just loving working out with it. You know, I walk by it every day in the house and I'm just, you know, I can't go away from it. There's so much, so many cool stuff you can, you can do. My coach just showed me uh, uh, this new uh, Sao Perry, which is not sideways, but more outward like that. Like it's, it's, it's very realistic and you can use it as a slip stick as well. You know, I remember, uh, Freddie Roach always taught us this kind of like block of the overhand, right? When you come in with an uppercut, you can kind of do a Kung Fu version of that. It's, there's just so much fun stuff you can do with this. And Fook Sao. Pak Sao, Tan Sao, Bong Sao, Lop Sao, Chak Choi, Ping Choi, Kwang Choi, Chak Choi. Really an excellent tool, so I'm not going to do stars or any sort of formal rating, but I'll just say that this is well worth it. You should definitely get one installed in your garage. Don't get the stupid Markuwar like I did. I'm about to replace this with something nice that I can uh, punch softly. My knuckles are already conditioned enough. I don't need to get them bigger than friggin' grapes. And uh, this thing is just too painful. So I'm gonna replace this with a nice soft padded target so I can just start laying it on it. And, uh, and thanks to James at Warrior Martial Arts for this incredible tool. You know, he's a personal student of Randy Williams. So he is literally part of this Wing Chun lineage. And, just such a casual, chill East Coast guy, really laid back, really nice guy, easy to work with. And um, I, I think the next step is just to get a full uh, PVC or, or wood dummy from him because the, this guy's obviously about workmanship. And uh, you know, back when I was writing for the Kung Fu and Martial Arts magazines, he made excellent products and it's decades later and he's still making great stuff. So definitely highly recommended, not, not a paid promotion, not a paid sponsorship. 